the whole entire two pounds. Dump the whole entire thing out. Mozzarella that we shredded. I'm doing a double batch. Oh, 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 sorry. Double ricotta. There we go, come on. The first thing you do is I saved a little bit of cheese. The Cooking with Jack Show, a YouTube channel that claims approximately six lives per year. Whether that be from people getting salmonella poisoning from following these recipes, or just their heart stopping out of pure shock from watching these videos, The Cooking with Jack Show is quite the experience. And the last time we looked at this channel, I thought that we had found the worst of the worst. But boy oh boy, I was wrong. And while the chicken we watched Jack cook last time could have easily wiped out a country, today's dishes are even worse. Allow me to introduce you to the Lazy Man series, a series where Jack disgraces every traditional recipe that this world has ever seen. He takes perfectly fine and usually very easy recipes to make to begin with and tries to dumb them down as much as possible, to where most of the quote cooking is just dumping a store-bought bag of already processed food into a pot and hoping for the best. It's bad. And we're gonna be starting off the day with Lazy Man's lasagna. Let's begin. Please subscribe. Tonight, we're gonna do something special. My son's classroom is doing, uh, tomorrow they're gonna be doing a international day. So everybody has to cook a dish from their heritage and bring it to school tomorrow. So I figured, hey, why not? I wanted to do a video on how to make a Lazy Man's lasagna and I'm gonna be making that for his class. So the two came together and we're making the video right now. Wow, that actually manages to make the video worse. Because once you guys see what his son had to take to school to represent Italy, my God. So let's show you how to do lazy man's lasagna. And we're gonna run through the ingredients. Then we're gonna, as we always do, we're gonna show you how to throw it all together. All right, let's take a look at the ingredients right now. Okay, here's all the ingredients. Okay, so you know it's never a good start to a lasagna recipe when lasagna is not even in the ingredients. I mean, this is literally not even considered lasagna. You have to have lasagna noodles to make a lasagna. This is just a pasta dish. Then you're gonna take your mozzarella that we shredded. You're gonna put that in next. Okay. That has got to be like four or five cups of mozzarella cheese. I'm surprised everyone in his son's class who ate this survived it. There we go. Look how beautiful that is. Still hot. Burning hot. I'm gonna throw that in. Whoop. There we go. This is quite literally just macaroni and cheese. I never thought I'd be getting clickbaited by a cooking channel. That'll work. All right. And then once again, let me see if I can tip this so you can see okay. And then I'm gonna mix this all in. Once again, you can always add more cheese if needed. Jack, I'm begging you, please don't put any more cheese. Even with the eight pounds of pasta you just added, cheese makes up 50% of this dish. But let's see where we're at first. It's all experimenting. It's not like baking. Baking has to be precise, pasta doesn't. Okay, now you see, look how beautiful that is. It's getting all melted together. Now we're gonna put in these. Now once again, I'm doing a double batch. Oh, oh, oh. Sorry. <laughs> Jack, what are you doing? You know measuring cups exist, right? Those packages reseal. You don't have to use the entire thing for every ingredient that you use. It's the fun part of cooking. I'm just gonna scoop that right out there. Put that in there. And since I'm doing a double batch, I'm gonna do double ricotta. There we go, come on. And this is one of my favorite cheeses. I um, yeah, Jack, I, I can see that. And earlier you said that we might need to add more cheese. This dish is majority cheese. This has got to be like at least 75% cheese by concentration. Okay, so that's what it looks like. Now let me give you just a few more tips before I say goodbye. The first thing you do is I saved a little bit of cheese. <laughs> oh my God, Jack. Jack, please, I'm begging you, no more cheese. We can't take it anymore, Jack. We are dying here. This is just cheese. This should be called Lazy Man's Cheese. Okay, save a little bit of cheese. You can take a little bit of this and just, just gently sprinkle the tops. Uh, I would say just more for decoration than anything. You got tons of cheese in it. But it looks nice, gives a little contrast to it. 
Jack, what about something healthy? A little bit of parsley, something green. You have the world's supply of cheese in these two pans. You cannot possibly think that is an appropriate decoration. Jack, I can't take this video anymore. Just show me the enchiladas. Okay, the first thing you want to do is take your bag of chips and you're going to smash it. Just don't be shy, just smash it all up. And then you're going to pour that in, pour that in your big bucket. All right, we're barely 10 seconds in and there's already no reviving this. I don't think anybody on the planet has ever made enchiladas with tortilla chips. That's got to be some sort of federal offense. Doesn't matter if you smash it perfect or not. Put all that in. Then the next thing you're going to do is dump your whole jar of salsa. Not the small one, but this medium size. Just dump it all in there. Then you're going to take your enchilada sauce, just pour it in gently. Don't get red sauce everywhere because then you'll have to clean it up. And then the second can, pour it in there gently. This is just soggy chip soup. Like 85% of the dish is just chips. This is terrible. Then you're going to take your ground beef that had the sautéed onions and all and just pour the whole thing. Don't worry about draining it unless you really want to drain it, but the juice kind of comes in handy because you want it to be a little liquidy for when it bakes. Oh, really? Yeah, I have a feeling that's not going to end up being a problem. Then um, it's not going to be all dry. Then you take your big bag of cheese, the whole entire two pounds, and you just dump it all in. Don't be shy. It doesn't have to be pretty. All it has to do is taste good and it's going to taste delicious. Trust you me. Okay. So keep in mind that a two pound bag of cheese is nearly 4,000 calories, and we already have one entire bag in the dish. Just remember that. Okay, now what you're gonna do is take your small bag of cheese, and that's gonna be your topping. Just dump the whole entire thing out. All right, so we got even more cheese now. I guess two pounds wasn't quite enough. This entire dish is just chips and cheese. You might as well have called it Lazy Man's Nachos, because this does not even resemble enchiladas. Okay, look at this, folks. Delicioso. Does that look awesome or what? Uh, I'm gonna go with the what option. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're gonna just put a nice, healthy dollop of sour cream on the top. Yeah, uh, nothing about what is happening here is healthy. Delicious. In Spanish, we call this crema. And then you're gonna put a few olives on top just to make it look pretty. Actually, if you want to put a few extras, that'll be good. And you're ready to eat. All right, so let's give this a try. Okay. That looks good. I appreciate you holding the dish for me. Thank you. No worries. Oh, wow. It's a little warm. Mmm, mm -hmm. so delicioso. Wow, I don't even think they like it. That was the fakest reaction I've ever seen. And I mean, I can't really blame them. Can you imagine how soggy everything is? Six pounds of chips reduced to nothing but a film? It's a war crime. Mm, I got hog this. Mmm. What do you think? That's enchiladas. That is real enchiladas. Uh, no. No, Jack, it's not. That might just be the furthest thing from enchiladas. Those right there are red sauce nachos. There is nothing enchilada here except the sauce. Yeah. Wow, you didn't want that, did you? <laughs> did you want that? You can have it, Jack. No, 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 it's okay. I'm teasing, I'm teasing. After, after a bite, let me have <laughs> <laughs> No, I got one more bite, too. Oh my gosh, it's like we're in school again. <laughs> Except school, mm. school food was never this good. So delicious. Wow, you know the food's good when the best compliment you can give the chef is that it's better than school food. That's like one step above prison food. Wow, this video hurt. The anxiety I felt waiting for him to add more cheese with every passing second. That was rough. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and walk on over to that subscribe button. And touch it, it's free. It won't cost you anything. But for now, that's all I have for you today. Bye. Subscribe.